The solar hot water heating system typically consists of four main components. The calorifier is where the heated water is stored until it is needed. The tank is usually insulated to prevent heat loss, and it may be equipped with a backup heating system, such as an electric or gas heater, for times when there is not enough solar energy available. Emergency cooler is a safety feature that prevents overheating of the system by releasing excess heat through a heat exchanger to the outside environment, thus protecting the system components and ensuring safe operation. An expansion vessel is a container that allows for the expansion and contraction of the heated water as it moves through the system, helping to maintain stable pressure levels and preventing damage to the system. The solar collector is the most important component of a solar hot water heating system. It is responsible for capturing the energy from the sun and converting it into heat. The collector is usually made up of a series of tubes or panels that are exposed to the sun. The circulation pump circulates the heated water from the solar collector to the storage tank, ensuring efficient transfer of heat and constant water temperature throughout the system. The control system is responsible for regulating the flow of water through the system, monitoring the temperature of the water in the storage tank, and controlling the backup heating system when necessary. During startup, while filling water in the calorifier or primary heating circuit, make sure air vent and safety valve are open and the cold water inlet pressure is as per requirements. Then open cold water line valve. Hot water supply and return valves shall be in closed condition. Once the water is filled in the tank and primary circuit, close safety valves. While filling primary side circuit, make sure feeder line inlet pressure is as per requirements, and then open the feeder valve. Air vent and safety valve must be in open position till the circuit gets filled. Check the system safety components and electrical connections prior to putting the system in operation. Once the system is on, system will check the temperatures and switch on the solar circulation pump. Heated water in solar panel will be transferred to storage calorifier heat exchanger and heat up the stored water. In continuous operation, the storage tank temperature increases. Once the system reaches the set temperature, solar circulation pump will be turned off to avoid overheating. Now you can start the hot water circulation pump and enjoy your hot shower. Emergency cooler will work during overheating situations. If the solar side temperature goes above 90 degrees Celsius, three-way valve will divert the water to the emergency cooler. Then the cooler will cool down the water temperature to the desired value. When the solar side temperature reaches the set range, emergency cooler will be turned off. <laughs> 